Hello and welcome to this video in the salubrious surroundings of a bathroom. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to stretch some watercolour paper on a board and how I do it in the bath. I use this board to stretch all my watercolour paper on and this is the, the very quite thin stuff so what the reason why we're stretching it on here is, is that if you were to put watercolour straight onto there then it would buckle. So we are absorbing water into it and letting it dry and taping it to the board so that it lies flat whilst you're painting and then when you take it off it shouldn't have buckled. I have got this roll of gummed paper that I bought many many years ago from, oh what was that art supply shop called near the Metro Centre? I can't remember the shop, I'm not sure if it's still going, but any art shop Hopefully you should have it, or you should be able to find it online. So what I do is cut four pieces long enough to go around your watercolour paper. You need to put cold water in the bath. I don't know if you can see that, but just a shallow bit of water in there. Push your watercolour paper all the way in, so it's all the way under. I needed a tad more water in there. All right, so it's completely submerged and then leave it for not very long probably. I tend to kind of don't actually time it so maybe 30 seconds a minute, just as long as we've, we're talking, maybe. You can always maybe experiment and actually time it to see what the optimum for your watercolour paper is, but not very long, so I'm going to take that out. That's probably been, I might be able to tell you in editing <laughs> once I've seen the video time. So you take it out, obviously it's wet, so what I do is I just, you can't, wipe all of the excess off but I just tend to hold it like that and run my fingers either side just to get off some of the excess there and it's all dripping off as well. You do have to be a bit careful with it because because it's full of water it is a little bit fragile. Then lay it on your board. I should have taken off the previous tape beforehand. But I didn't. Put it onto a flat surface and then I tend to work from the middle out. Make sure that you don't have any little pieces of paper on your board underneath because it will be bumpy. And then take your gummed paper, obviously gum size, put it, dip it into the water. I tend to take the excess off like that. about a centimetre over the edge of your paper and push it down. You can see it's already started to buckle here. But hopefully once that is actually taped down it will dry flat. watercolour paper all stretched and ready to dry. You need to put it somewhere flat, let it air dry. Usually they say overnight but depending on how warm it is I tend to find that later that same day it's dry enough to start painting on. Now that the paper is all dry as you can see it's lovely and flat there and ready to paint on. If you've enjoyed this video about how to stretch watercolour paper, please leave a like and consider subscribing and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!